direct it out a, a bit and to emphasize the importance of uh, geoarchaeology to archaeology. But somehow I feel that uh, our instructors did that already and that you understand it. And I'm showing you the images that you are seeing, images taken from the car, uh, in the area that you were driving to the other days. Giovanni said, uh, no, no, so, sorry, not Giovanni, but Charles said, uh, if we cannot uh, find a human impact in geoarchaeological research, then we shouldn't do it. But what they're doing is they're constantly finding it. And they are uh, making better ways of understanding what people in the past did. People <coughs> in the past did exactly what we are doing now. It is, I think, not good to ask ourselves why did they dig, uh, why did they dig trenches? Because we are digging them. Our entire landscape is cut with trenches. In some, some would say, more civilized countries, they are covered, so you cannot see them. But the system of trenches is everywhere. It's in every city, in every village, under your houses, under uh, the streets that you are uh, walking, under the parks, everywhere. So the ditch is the basic element of our current way of life. And apparently it was so 7,000 years ago. And the impact that those ditches made on the environment is still visible today as you could see. And the impact of these trenches will also be visible. And of the um, structures, abandoned structures that are current, current, uh, constantly collapsing. And it is very hard for us, in, when we dig an archaeological site, to imagine this kind of... We want to see the processes, we want to see how they started the city, how they uh, ruined the city, how they abandoned the city. But what we are seeing are various phases of accumulation, destruction. For example, Giovanni, on the bottom of the trench that we inhabited in the last few days, said that he probably, that he can hypothesize, that he uh, can observe the uh, modern pedogenesis that was occurring after the uh, trench was dug some, the, the ditch somewhere between uh, beginning of 20th century and 1968. That we know of the records that there are no uh, ditch and that there is ditch. So we are constantly accumulating stuff and we cannot say, I hope that none of us will ever think of the uh, accumulations of dog as the levels that people inhabited as the occupation levels. Charlie taught you what an occupational level is. The level with the door is the level of destruction. It's the level of this. It's the level that nobody will stay at because people tend to make up the mess, but people also tend to clean up their messes because you cannot live in something like this. And think, if I wouldn't live there, neither of them. So, and also, these kilometers of trenches that you can observe here, you can see how people in front of each house uh, made different modifications to it. And think of it when you find trenches on various parts of a site that maybe it doesn't reflect their various beliefs or, I don't know, phases, just different practices. Uh, at a single time, because each and, each and one of us make our environment, our, the, the area that we are in control of, very differently. From our rooms, to our trenches, to our parking places, to all of our stuff. Yeah, I was, this is in Giacomo, near the bus station. Those of you who are going to the bus station tomorrow will see. And again, think of this, and then think of this and you try to interpret it. And uh, I guess Charlie and the guys told you that. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Petros. Thank you, Giambattista. Thank you, Giovanni, Katarina. Uh, thank you, Mino. Uh, thank you, Yasmin. <laughs>
for being uh, for able to record everything and uh, produce later on the, the, the content uh, for the people that were not here. Uh, and it would be only fair in the end that I say that uh, everything we see here is a human adaptation. Uh, this uh, workshop was also sort of an adaptation because it was planned in 2019 when we were applying for the project when we had about one-tenth of the results that we are having now. And you were supposed to come to Goryani, which was at the time a small-scale uh, Neolithic site, and we would do some corn there. Uh, in the meantime, uh, uh, we, we got this project by Crazy Science Foundation. Uh, all of our activities were postponed because of the pandemic, but uh, this workshop, and I must say none of the project that I'm currently the leader on, of would be uh, possible or we would be as so good as if there weren't for two people uh, among one of uh, them is here now, Hanoia Kalafatic and Bartul Shire. Bartul Shire is our colleague whom you uh, didn't meet because unfortunately he couldn't join us, but the two of them found several hundred of enclosures through the air and have, what we are basically doing is confirming their uh, findings. And uh, well, yeah, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have such a um, successful workshop. And thank you, Herva. And I think it's only fair that we finish this workshop with you showing us uh, the images that you took uh, two hours ago or three hours ago. Yeah. yeah. Because 
they are all five kilometers uh, far away from me, apart from each other, and I believe they probably had some disputes and issues in the, between communities, not that they protected all wider area. This is the, the second one, the large tail in Buchevci. We can see few few phases of green here. It is a pretty large. Yeah, I managed to take, take it off here. In this part and this part, there is always the water, or even during the summer time. Today we didn't have any water because it's particularly dry season and particularly dry year, completely winter without snow and without rain. You can see everything is smaller than it should be because of a small amount of rain. Yeah. And we have something like second circle summer here and some dots here, but some one visible here, it will be visible later when the, when the crops grow up. What can you see here? You also can see one dot, a dot here, it is also something like square, and you can see this large square around here. We couldn't do the magnetometry last year because the Slovaks had broken ATV and they then did just the circle. But we would like to, to have a picture of this, so this, it's, it's very interesting, it's the only one with its square. It, it's also 400 meters wide and who knows what it is, but this one is interesting because it's, we believe it's slayers are pretty much preserved, I would say it's 3 or 4 meters, I don't know your estimation, I didn't, we didn't measure this, but we did, we, we have some measurements about how tall it is. Was we it? do, but we will keep that. Okay, three or four, <laughs> yeah. Meters, four, I would say. And that's it, I believe. So, for today, so I can provide pictures also to Peja on WhatsApp. So, if you need it for something. Here, on this road, I think less than uh, around a kilometer, we talked about that other side, Vishkonsi, Gradina, it's very close. And, uh, it's Copper Age and early Bronze Age site. But, Vishkots, they just have one enclosure of two enclosures, uh, walls, because they are on some triangle, I would say, site, hilly site, something like that. This is, this is, so this is a real circle. So we, we, we deliberately use the term circle because all other enclosures in, 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 in lower Austria, Slovakia, and Western Hungary, they're, they're, they're not necessarily circles, but some of them are always circles. Pretty, pretty precise. So you can, that's the way you can tell from the air or from the space that it's soft, not so maybe they communicate with somebody. Oh, mm -hmm. So they, the space allies, allies from space know where they are and they, <laughs> between the angel and so on. So, yeah. Just keep that also. Yeah. Mind, yeah. <laughs> we will, we the dream just has a space <laughs> problem. Future is bright, but we will have some problems concerning this is 220,000 volts and it's problematic for the you know, this metal pieces of that. It are problematic for the magnetometry, but we will survive. It's 2% uh, of everything in the middle of everything, so we hope it will not interfere with our future knowledge and future picture of everything. Thank you.